again. Hi, penguins and dolphins. It's Mrs. Ladybug. I haven't seen you in a while. It's nice to see you again. Um, I heard from a little butterfly that Miss Boyer read you a story today about me and my friends, the ladybugs. Yay! Did you learn some ladybug facts? Yeah, we have wings. We can fly. Uh, we have three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, and we have 100 legs. No, we're an insect. We only have six legs. I tried to trick you. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, what's my favorite food to eat? Mm, pizza? No. Ice cream? No. I love to eat aphids. Aphids are little teeny insects that like to crawl on flowers, and I like to gobble them up. Mm. So Miss Boyer read you a story about us, and then I heard you drew a beautiful picture of ladybugs. Did you put a lot of details? Mm. Did you? Did you? I hope so. Well, when I say go, I want you to push pause and go get your picture and get a pencil too, because you need a pencil. Don't get crayons. Don't get a pen. Don't get markers. Get a pencil and your ladybug drawing and bring it back to the table. And I'm going to fly away and go get Mr. Bruska so he can do some writing with you. Are you ready? Push pause. Go. I'm going to go get Mr. Bruska. Well, hello, Miss Ladybug. How are you? Oh, it's nice to see you. Oh, you're going to go back outside? Okay. Goodbye, Miss Ladybug. Thank you. Oh, there's some aphids on those flowers out there. Yeah. Go out. Go outside. Go out the window. Oh, bye. Uh, hi, penguins and dolphins. Did you see Miss Ladybug? Yeah. She, uh was here and she said she wanted to talk to you about ladybugs. And I heard that Miss Boyer read you a story about ladybugs. So you know lots of ladybug facts. Awesome. Ladybugs are an insect too. A ladybug is an insect. A ladybug is an insect. No mumbling. A ladybug is an insect. Yeah, that's what we're going to write today. We're going to write a sentence called, A ladybug is an insect. A ladybug is an insect. How many words are we going to write today? Five words. A ladybug is an insect. Did you bring your pencil? <sighs> Miss Ladybug was right. Do you remember in kindergarten when we did group time and we did writing? Or when we did math time and we wrote numbers? And we wrote magic words and we wrote, we wrote sentences. Did we use crayons when we did our writing? Did we use colored pencils when we did our writing? Did we use a teacher pen? We did not. We always used a pencil. Miss, Miss, Miss Boyer and I, we taught you, we have to use a pencil when we do writing letters and words and numbers. That way, if you make a mistake, you can fix it. If you write with a crayon and you make a mistake, oh no, I made my E backwards. Can you erase this? No. So just like in kindergarten, you smart, smart kids, when we do distance learning, you have to use a pencil. You have to use a pencil. If you don't have a pencil, don't cry. Ask your family. They'll get you one. Because that's what kindergartners need, a pencil. When you do your picture, you can use crayons or markers or colored pencils. But when we do our writing, we need to use a pencil. Okay, let me show you my picture that I drew about ladybugs. In fact, on my picture, I have a lot of ladybugs, but then I did so many details. You want to see my picture? Here it is. Look at my picture. Do you see it? Yeah. Um, I did a lot of ladybugs 
right here by these red roses. There's one, another one, another one. They're very tiny, small, little. Here's one flying. Do you see all those green dots? I'll zoom it in. Zoom. Do you see the little dots? Those are the aphids. And there's yellow aphids and all these ladybugs are eating the aphids. But look at this ladybug over here. Uh-oh. That's a praying mantis. A praying mantis is a predator. It eats ladybugs. Mm-hmm. This predator is going to eat that ladybug. And I drew lots of details. Dragonflies. There's a walking stick up in the tree. And another dragonfly. A bunch of ants over here carrying their leaves down to their nest. Yeah. I hope you did a lot of details. If you didn't, that's okay. You can do details when we're finished. But right now, we're going to write our sentence called, A ladybug is an insect. A ladybug is an insect. Say headline. Say belt line. Say foot line. The headline, the belt, and the foot line. We learned about those in kindergarten. You know about those. Those help us make perfect letters. Perfect letters. Yeah. Headline, belt line, and foot line help us know where to start our letters and which way to go so that they're not giant and huge or little babies. They fit right in there. So today when we do our writing, I want you to make your most perfect headline, belt line, foot line letters. So I'm going to go first, and then it will be your turn. The first word, a ladybug is an insect. What's my first word? Magic word, a. A ladybug is an insect. A. Remember, it's at the beginning, so I need to start with a capital. Capital A starts on the headline. You watch me first, then I'll say go. Slant, slant, across. That is a perfect A. Go, your turn. Make a perfect capital A. If you made a mistake, erase it and fix it. Okay, you ready for the next word? Put your finger under A and read. A. What goes next? Ladybug. Hey, let's clap the syllables in ladybug or do them on our fingers. Ready, go. Ladybug. Ladybug. Three syllables. That's going to be a long word. All right, we're going to focus. Before we write ladybug, what do we need to do? Do finger space. Put your pencil down, my turn first. I'm gonna show you how to make ladybug. First, it starts with an L, only lowercase. But lowercase L starts on the headline all the way to the foot line. Go, you make your lowercase L. Did it start on the headline? Touch the foot line, make your letters perfect. After the L, my turn is an A. Lowercase A starts on the belt line, around up down. Make your A. If you made a mistake, fix it. Okay, my turn. After the A comes a D. D, lowercase d is tall, and then it has a bump going backwards like this. Oops, can you see it? I made a little mistake. I'm going to fix it. If you make a mistake, you can fix it. There we go. L-A-D. My turn. This is a tricky one. Letter Y comes next. Lowercase y starts on the belt line. Short slant. Go back to the belt line. Long slant. It hangs down. Make sure your Y hangs down. All right. If I go too fast, push pause and keep fixing it. The next letter, we keeps going. This is a long word, is B. B starts on the headline. All the way to the foot line, tall, and the bump goes this way. See, D goes that way, B goes that way. Lady B, uh. Did you make your B? Now we're going to do U. Don't make it over here. Make it right next to the B. U is like a happy face. Down, up, down. Did you make your U? 
Okay, there's one more letter in the word ladybug, and it's lowercase g. Lowercase g, it looks kind of like an A. Around, up, down, but you keep going, and you make a monkey tail. Ladybug. You make your G. All right, did you finish the word ladybug? Okay, go put your finger under A. Let's read what we have written so far. Ready? Read. A ladybug is. Is is the next word. And is, a lot of you already know it, is a magic word. Oop, I just bumped the table. Sorry. So I'm going to write is, and then I want you to write is. So let me write it first. First, I'll leave my two finger spaces. And then it goes like this. An I. Remember when you make your I, the dot goes way up here. One, two, three. And an S. Lowercase s starts on the belt line. Around and has to touch the foot line. There we go. You write is. All right. Get your reading finger. Put it under A. Let's all read together. Go. A ladybug is an. Say an. An is a little tiny word with two sounds. Everybody chop an. A n. A n. An. All right, my turn first. I'm going to leave a two finger space and make my a ah, letter A. Oh, that's a perfect one. A ah, n. Mm, n. Now, n's are kind of tricky, so watch me. They start on the belt line, not on the foot line, on the belt line, and they go down, up, and the bump has to touch the belt line to the foot line. Well, that's a nice one. Now you make the word an. Remember, if you make a mistake and your an isn't perfect, you can fix it. All right. I don't think we're done yet, so don't put a period. No period yet. We have more to write. Put your finger under A. Let's all read. Go. A ladybug is an insect. Oh. Do I have room to write insect over here? Let me see. No, I do not. Maybe you have room and you can leave a space and write insect. But if you don't have room, remember you come down to the next line. And when you come to the next line, no space, no space. It starts right here. A ladybug is an insect. I'm gonna write insect and then you can write it. Watch me first because we're going to make perfect letters insect starts with i i starts on the belt line to the foot line your dot way up here don't make it touching or it will look like a lollipop and then an n remember to start your n on the belt line down up bump then an s and remember i have to make my letters really close but not touching so i'm gonna make my s kind of here Let's see if I can make it almost so close. Oh, that's perfect. See, they're really close, but they're not touching. I and S, now E, lowercase e, starts in the middle. Hit the ball, run around the bases. I'm not done. Now my C, lowercase c, capital C starts up here, but I'm going to make lowercase like that. Now comes letter T, insect. T, not over here, right next to the T. Starts on the headline, all the way down, across on the belt line. That is how you write insect with perfecto letters. You write it, go. If you need to push pause, you can. Now, put your finger at the beginning and let's read our sentence. Remember, we always use a reading finger, not on top. I can't see the A under it. Everybody read, go. A ladybug is an insect. Bing. Now, good writers have to do four things. 
Do you remember? Think. Did you remember what good writers have to do? If you forgot, you can look here. Number one, they always start with a capital. Hey, did we start with a capital right here? Yes, we did. Bing! Take a look at number two. Two finger spaces. Did we do two finger spaces? Yes, we did. Number three, good writers always put a period at the end. Did we put a period? Oh, we forgot the period teacher mistake. That's okay, we can fix it. When you make a period, do not make it on the headline. Do not make it on the belt line. Yes, make it on the foot line. And it's not a circle, it's just a dot like this. One, two, three. So make your period. And number four, we have to check to make sure we made all the magic words right. Let's see. Oh, there's magic word A. Is that right? Yes. Look at is. I-S. Did we make is right? Let's look at our magic words here. Where's is? It's right there. Do you see it? How do you make is? I-S. I-S. We did is just right. So we did all the good things that writers need to do. We started with the capital, we left spaces, we put a period, and we wrote our magic words just perfect. We wrote sentence number one. A ladybug is an insect. Now, we're gonna write sentence number two. Ladybugs have blankety blank. What do ladybugs have? My turn, your turn. Ladybugs have two antenna. Ladybugs have six legs. Ladybugs have spots. Ladybugs have strong jaws to crunch and eat aphids. Ladybugs have three body parts. Yeah. I don't know what you want to write. I think I'm going to write ladybugs have six legs. That's what I'm going to write. Let's all write ladybugs have first. So sentence number two, my turn, your turn. Ladybugs have blankety blank. Okay. What's our first word? Ladybugs. We have to write ladybugs. Okay. Where do I write ladybugs? My first word. Down here? Nope. Look. I still have a lot of room. I can write, look at ladybugs is this long. Will it fit here? Of course it will. So I can write ladybugs right here. Okay. Sentence number two. When I write sentence number two right here, what do I have to do first after the period? Leave a two-finger space. Now I'm going to write ladybugs. L, just like, oh, wait. It's the first word of my new sentence. What do I have to start with? What do I start with? Call it out. Tell me. A capital. Of course, it's a new sentence, so I have to make capital L. It goes to the bottom, and then it goes across. There's my capital L. You make your capital L. And now you can write the word ladybug just like it is up there. And you can watch me, L-A-D, make your letters perfecto. Don't forget that Y, short slant, long slant, how low can you go? Ladybug, bees are tall. And the U is like a happy face. And G's hang down, how low can you go, monkey tail? I wrote ladybug, but listen to my sentence. Did I say ladybug have blankety blank or ladybugs have blankety blank? Did you hear a sound that has to go here? Yeah, ladybugs. I have to put my S here, lowercase. 
There's ladybugs. You write ladybugs. Don't forget your space. Starts with a capital. Ladybugs. Okay, put your finger under it. Say the word. Ladybugs have. If I leave two finger space, do you think I can fit have here? Let's see if I can find have on my word wall. Remember we have our little word wall in our journal? Where's the word have? It's an H word. Have. Look at those H words. Do you see have? Do you see have right there? H-A-V-E. H-A-V-E. I think I can fit it. If I leave it just a quick little short two finger space, I think I can start right here and write H. Remember, H's are tall. Then an A. Ooh, I'm making them close, but I'm not touching. Then a V, belt line. Then an E, hit the ball and run around. Look at, I just barely fit it in. You might be able to fit it in with a space, or you might have to go down here. You can push pause and write the magic word have. All right, put your finger under ladybugs. Let's read sentence number two. Ladybugs have blankety blank. What do you want to write? I'm going to write this. Six. See, I, I didn't leave a space. I started right there. Six space legs. L-E-G-S. Oh, and I'm going to remember my period. Ladybugs have six legs. I wrote sentence number two. What do you want to write for sentence number two? Ladybugs have... I'm going to put up the poster so you can pick what you want to write for sentence number two. I'm going to move this so you can see it. Are you going to write ladybugs have spiracles? Ladybugs have two compound eyes? Ladybugs have a thorax. Ladybugs have an abdomen. Which one do you want to write? You can push pause and pick the body part you want to write to make your sentence number two. Well, hello, I'm back. I just ate so many aphids, I'm full. They were delicious. Let me look at your writing. Ooh, Mr. Brusca, you did a lot of writing. Can I read it? Oh, yeah, of course you can read it. Okay, I'm going to use one of my six legs to touch and read your words. I'm going to read sentence number one first. Okay. A ladybug is an insect. Oh, period. That's a beautiful sentence. Now I'm going to read uh, sentence number two. Where do I start? Oh, there's where sentence one finished. So, oh, here it is. Ladybugs have six legs. Ding, period. You did such nice writing, um, Mr. Brusca. Do you think the uh, penguins and dolphins did beautiful writing? Yes, I do. Well, then I think they should send you and Miss Boyer a picture so that I can see it too. Will you send a picture? Penguins and dolphins, send a picture of your beautiful writing and your beautiful picture so I can see it and I can give it a big hug and crawl on it. All right.